This is the record mechanical calculator, missing its front right foot. It was designed by Hugo Court and first produced by him. He was only able to produce less than 800 of these in seven years, starting in 1913. Lindstrom took over production in 1921. Mine was made by Lindstrom. And then Ronio made it for two years, starting in 1929. There were various styles, electric motors in different capacities and whatnot, but about 6,000 of them were made until around 1931. The record was a step drum machine based off of the Thomas arithmometer. Arithmometers and clones like this one used big wide spaced step drums, so consequently they had big wide spaced accumulators. Inventors tried various means to shrink down the space between those drums. Archimedes shaved off as much space and material from the step drums as possible, so that as the step drums turned, they occupied the spaces that their neighboring drums had just been. Rheinmetall's solution was to have one step drum for every two columns. Pretty clever. Some inventors, like Axel Peterson, took the shared drum idea one step further by having one step drum for all the number places. Of course, with that configuration, the calculator needed to be round, and the accumulator was a little more difficult to read. Hugo Court had his own idea on how to shrink the carriage numbers. He shaved the drums, but that wasn't really where he saved his space. He then changed the step drums to a vertical orientation. He moved them to the back of the machine, and he alternated their height, which allowed their accumulator numbers to be closer together. This meant that Court could fit five number places in a space smaller than it took Thomas to fit four. To accommodate this new orientation, Court invented a new mechanism to allow the keyboard to engage with the new step drums. In the second view, you can see the check register working on top and on the bottom you can see the gear that's going to mesh with the step drum. Court was also the first person to add a crankshaft to his machine, so his crank stuck out the front of the machine. This image shows an early record machine and it has the crank sticking out the side, but that's from Ernst Martin's book and it seems to be the only source of this image, so maybe it was a prototype or something. When you take the carriage off of a normal step drum machine like this Tim, this is kind of what you expect to see. You can see those bevel gears working up and down when you change it from addition to subtraction. Now when you tilt the carriage of a uh, record machine, here's what it looks like. Completely different. Here's the check register in action. The addition subtraction bevel gears are in the carriage on the record, unlike on the main body of other step drum machines. That little lever handles addition or multiplication, and you can push down on either side to clear the um, input register. Here's an internal view of that lever in action. This is the multiplication and division lever. You push it down and it also doubles as the carriage lift. This machine has a lot of troubles, including missing that bevel gear right there. That's also where the bell would be if it had one, though I'm not convinced it ever did. Some of my twiddler knobs have broken off there. That also has the carry gear tooth. 
that meshes underneath with the carry down below. That carriage tilts more than 180 degrees back, and the first time I did it, it really startled me. This specific machine was sold by Ernst Yost. You can see his crooked plaque there. Although any other logo that was on it is long gone. That last column there doesn't carry reliably, and when the shipper shipped it to me, it was upside down and the crank handle got bent and it broke off my clearing knobs. I had to do some drilling for the crank handle, but uh, it works pretty well, surprisingly. Now let's do some math. Here's 25 times 25. It's a little rough. Now I'm going to add 35. Now I'll subtract 88. I can't demonstrate division because of the unreliable carry situation. But it has on the, the highest column there a little tab that you can lock down the, um, the one to be an extra counter. So that's the Lindstrom record. Thanks for watching.